So, there's a part two. And uh, in this part two, um, there's a lot of stuff going on that I didn't think about. Or I didn't know that was going to come around the corner and smack me in the face. So if you haven't seen part one where I talk about Sword Art Collab and like the free ice stone that you could get and stuff, look up on my header in the description. This is part two. So remember when I was talking about this certain unit piece over here that says it's a 13 star but it's actually a 12 star? Well, there's a part two where you can get herbal stones. You can get a hundred of these if you do the following. So the first one is clear any free field on extra hard three times. The other one is clear time attacks, traces of darkness on extra hard you clear that one time, guess what? You get rare airbow stones. And then if you clear the time attack marathon training Tokyo on extra hard, you get another 100. If you want to view the details for yourself, you can look in the description. This will last from December 23rd, 2020 to January 6th, 2021. If you are interested in giving Japanese PS2 a shot, now would be a good time to join because you're getting one, the free 15 star endgame weapon question mark. There is another new weapon series that is out, and it is above the Light Weaver, but I don't know if it's strong in a sense, and I still need to figure out how to get that particular weapon series. But uh, yeah, you can get the Light Weaver weapon, and then you can get a free 13-star set as long as you do what you need to do. So, there's also this Holiday EQ Rush. There's going to be a boost towards it, 150% experience and 150% where a drop rate is going to be on Merry Christmas of Ice 2020, Primordial Glare from the Void, Morning of Demise. Now when it comes to the Crest campaigns, it's not going to be a giant boost, but it is going to give you 10 for each one of these. Uh, but yeah, it's just easy Sage Crest if you need it, and then I already covered some of this stuff. This is pretty much that Light Weaver. You get a free eye weapon. I did do this on stream, I did pick it up. It is at a 5 slot, it is already at a grind rarity of... 35 so you don't need to make multiple copies you get that 15 star you need to get it to a light weaver the only problem is getting the other materials but this pretty much covers a good chunk of them um actually no scratch that this could help you get another iron but it does not help you get from the iron to the light weaver you do need this stone though and then i already talked about all this stuff over here the sage crest you can look at that as well this holiday rush is from 29th, 2020 to January 6th, 2021. It's like that one as well. The big thing is enchantment item gets. I didn't realize it was going to be... Well, actually, scratch that. that. That's giving free items. The big thing is this thing over here. Item lab, boost plus zero enchantment cost. There's a boost week going on at 15%. 50% grind success. Boost 20, plus 25% to new type grind. Uh, weapon, great success rate. Plus 15% experience new type weapon. So uh, yeah, if, if you need to do a fixes and whatnot, now would be a good time to do it. And also there's a zero enchantment cost, meaning that all these services down here, p potential swapping, candy compression, S-class ability transfer, special ability transfer, adding special abilities, item grinding, and unlocking potential of old type weapons. You can do all of this without paying a dot or without paying one meseta. It will eat up other resources, but guess what? You are not paying as much. So take advantage of it. I might most likely take advantage of that soon. I will do a lot of recordings because of this. And then enchantment item gets is pretty much from December 23rd, 2020 to Jan January 6th, 2021. If you clear these certain quests, these are emergency quests. So if you clear Morning of Demise three times and five times, you'll get a 40% success ability success times two and then a 45% success ability success. Special ability success, excuse me. Then with this one, the Merry Christmas one, if you complete it three times, I guess it's on whatever difficulty. If you complete it at three times, you get a 50% great grind success times five. These actually drop here and there from what I've observed. So it's okay. It's, especially if you're new, you might as well do it just so you can get that. And then if you do it five times, you get a 45% special ability success. This is good because it, it's at a 45. It increases your chance to try to get to 100 if it's not at 100. So uh, yeah, there's, there's a boost week going on. And then there's these bargains, but you guys can view that for yourself. And then they got the new scratch over here. You can view it as well in the description. Big thing is though, th there's a boost week going on. I did not, I did not, I did not know about it. So I am going to end this recording here. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. But I'm going to take advantage of this because I do need to get my units to now 8 slot material. I am going to get it to an 8 slot. I've been stocking up on those fodder materials and the... Uh, what is it the passes so i'm going to do it but the problem is when it comes to finalizing my last specific unit piece 
I still need a shit ton of returners, so I will have to farm, but I am sort of busy from now until the end of this year. So it'll depend, but I am most likely going to try to do a lot more this week compared to the last time they had a giant a fixed week boost, which was like in uh, November. So th thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Fucking 15%. I'm going to, I'm going to do stuff.